Hi, my name is Dylan Valade, and I live in Petoskey, Michigan. I am the owner of two businesses, Pine Lake Marketing and Planet Ball. I've been a web designer for about 10 years now, and I've been spending the last five years working with Best Year Yet. I spend my free time painting and biking, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, fishing, basically anything that you can do outdoors, I'm pretty much game for. And over the past six months, I've been working on my Best Year Yet personal plan. I've been seeing a lot of improvements in my business relationships and my bank account and my personal relationships. Um, I would recommend to any small business owner and any young person uh, to try the Best Year Yet personal plan. It really does work and it's very inexpensive for how much you're going to get out of it. That need to, to fulfill the goals that you set for yourself is, is a pretty motivating factor. And then my tips to myself to keep on those things were that I've got 24 hours in every day and you can't use all of it working. Um, so there was just different things I did during my day, checking email and things that weren't as important as I used to feel that they are. And so I could avoid doing things that I have been doing for years and when I stopped doing those or stopped doing them as much, it freed up a lot of time to actually get the work done. And once I was able to do that, then I didn't feel the pressure to do those little tasks that end up taking a lot of time every day. Um, if you are a young person who is looking to start a business or to just improve your life and well-being, the first thing you have to do is is pick something you're going to dedicate yourself to. If you just do a whole lot of things, all a little bit here, a little bit there, you're not going to make a whole lot of progress. So first thing is just decide what it is that you want to do. What are you passionate about? And then once you have that, you need to set out a little roadmap for where you need to be three months from now, six months from now, twelve months from now and that's where Best Year Yet comes in. You can set your goals for the year and then monthly goals, weekly goals, and using those you constantly stay on track towards what you needed to get to. And if you if you aren't moving forward towards a goal that you set out, you're going to get distracted and you're going to end up just kind of floating through one thing that a lot of young people have an advantage of that that isn't talked about is that you usually don't have a lot of financial commitments, you don't have a large family to support, um, there's just a lot of expenses that that other people have both in, in time and financially that that you don't have so you can be more competitive and more agile and spend more time working nights and weekends just to get started uh, and using Best Year Yet as your guide for what you set out for yourself is very helpful and you can see where you're falling behind and where you need to play catch up and also you can feel the rewards for the things that you've already achieved and see that you have come this far and in a very short amount of time you've made a lot of progress and that feels good and fuels the tanks and keeps you going. When you can take down your guard and be completely honest with yourself about what you're getting done and what needs to be done. Um, there's a lot of power in that. And then taking the time to identify where you need to get to is important. That's something that most people don't get a chance to do. They don't take the time to do it. And that's one thing that Best Year Yet makes possible to anybody just by going through Best Year Yet Online, you're going to do that for yourself. And having the ability to say, these are the things that really are getting in my way, and then having a way to get around them is, is just outstanding.